Hi everybody, this is Gavin the Builder. In this video, I'm going to show everybody how to do uh, radius commands and single use commands for blocks. And at the end, I'm gonna show a potion machine uh, that I've been seeing pop up and it's kind of a cool idea. Uh, first, I need to thank Stun Fusion or Stun Fusion. I don't know how he wants to pronounce that. Uh, he pointed out that in my last video, I said that uh, the changing the game rule command block output to false would uh, turn off the blocks, but it actually just turns off the prompt. So if you turn it off, if you turn off the command block output and you get an object, you no longer get that prompt uh, saying that the um, command block gave you something. So we're going to turn them back on. You can see it down at the bottom, game rule has been updated. Those are the prompts that you normally get. So thanks to him for pointing that out, and I'm sorry I was wrong, so I'll put that in my notebook. The first thing I'm going to go over is how to set a radius. So this block is going to give all the players within a radius of two item 137, which is a command block. So as you can see, I marked the ground. This is two, two blocks from the command block, so everybody within that radius is going to get the command block. And I'm clicking it, I'm not getting it. I move two in, and I get it. So uh, you can set that number to anything you want. As long as the chunk is loaded, uh, the people within that radius will get an item. Or you can set it to a random person in the radius, or just the nearest person touching the block. All right, the next thing I'd like to show you is a single use command block. So we have a command block back here that says player receives a reward. Uh, can be set to anything. All it's going to do is power this and it's just going to break the redstone. So he receives a reward, the redstone's broken, and uh, no more. This is a smaller version. This is actually the most compact version I could come up with. And it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's going to power the piston, it's going to break the redstone, and this block is only going to uh, happen once. So normally if you were playing on a regular map, You'd probably want to encase this in bedrock or something that the player can't get into. Uh, that way they don't try to game the system. This is a, a series of command blocks um, that also has a single use. This There's a piston under here, as I'll show you. And this is will just activate all three command blocks in a row. This is really good if you have uh, commands that you just want to execute. Uh, like this one could give them XP, give them a sword, and then teleport them to a new part of the map. Uh, it's really useful if you're doing an adventure map and uh, you have some things that you want to get done before they go to a certain spot. The next thing I'm going to show you is a potion machine. This is a really cool machine. It actually will uh, teleport somebody into this chamber, which is dispensers, and at the bottom is a pressure plate. So the person will land on it and uh, be hit with potions. Uh, inside is swiftness, and I think I threw some regeneration potions in there. So first block will teleport the person in there. The second block will teleport the person out of there, back to uh, where they push the button. And then the last block is just a save block. I didn't really come up with anything interesting for that. But it could be whatever you want. Uh, the only thing to keep in mind is the second block is going to teleport the nearest player, so it needs to be relatively close to the dispensers and to where you're teleporting the player. Otherwise, you might pick up a random person. All right, so we're going to push the button, and it teleports me, and I'm back in. And I've got speed and regeneration. So it works really good. If these blocks were dark, you wouldn't even have known. I, you would have just thought it was part of the teleporting process. The next machine I want to show you is a simple XP machine. On the vanilla server I play on, uh, in the end, they made an ender farm. So it's a pretty simple way of getting uh, XP, but you make sure that my players aren't just standing around and actually you know, doing something in the game that's fun and building cool stuff. I made an XP machine for them. So it works like this. Somebody comes up, and they push the button, and the first thing that happens is we take away all their experience points, and then the next thing that they get is 40 levels. So in the game, all you really need is 40 levels. It's the highest you can go on an anvil. It's way more than anything you can enchant. So 40 levels is a really good point. Um, 
This prevents them from banking the, the experience. So if somebody really wanted, if I didn't take away all their levels first, they could, you know, just stand around and bank thousands and thousands of levels. And then, you know, if they died, all their orbs would be floating around. It might make the server lag. And, all right, this is the last thing I want to show people. This is a sand generator. Uh, this started popping up on my server back in uh, the 1.4.4 update when they got turned back on. Uh, right now it's set up to make uh, gravel, which I don't mind. I don't mind if people get free stuff like this. Uh, the only problem is people would go AFK and then generate a bunch of free sand and it would end up crashing the server, which I'm not okay with. So in order to combat that, I made just a little command block prompt over here. Uh, basically, it's a give command. It's going to give the nearest player in a radius of four. Item 12, which is the sand block, and it's going to give 64 of them. Uh, you really have to put a radius on this because a couple people were just hooking this up to uh, a timer. So people that would load the chunk would all of a sudden get free sand. Uh, but putting the radius on there really made it uh, work well so nobody could be um, pranked, I suppose. Or confused about how this works and then I just wrapped in obsidian because if somebody wants to destroy it uh, they feel more than welcome to do it all right thanks for watching uh, if you have any comments or if you'd like to see me build something or if you need any explanations or you have corrections like stun fusion uh, let me know I really appreciate it and thank you for watching